So at some point in time uh, during your research career or um, during basically anything that requires you to crunch numbers, you will come across a frequency and percentage table. So I'm just going to bring this up and show you what that looks like. You have like a grouped value, you have a variable, whether it's questions or Likert scale things, and then you have a value, which is the answers of the response. You have the N, which is the total number of those responses or um, frequencies, and then you have the percentage based on the group. So a lot of people do this in Excel, which uh, in my opinion is a very time consuming way to do that in comparison to the alternative, which is R. So I'm just gonna go over a quick example of how to do that with some real life data. I'm gonna set my working directory here and just follow this quick template that I made. Just disregard that. So we change the backslashes with forward slashes. We're going to check and read in this social research data. So the libraries I'll need for this are um, first read Excel to read in the Excel data, since I'm not using CSV for this one. Um, tidyverse, this should just usually always be open. because It has a lot of helpful functions. And we're going to need reshape two. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is put dat and read in the data that is read XLSX. And then we'll put this in quotation marks. Taking a bit of time. Okay, so now we have our data set. And in this data set, I have a um, I have a few demographic variables, right? So I have province, um, I have how old are you, gender, ethnicity, um, occupation. So let's just pull out a few of those. So I'll take the province, which is column eight. And I'll take age, that is column 14, 15, 16 and 18. So let's subset this now. And let's say we want columns 8, 14, 15, 18, I think it was. 14, 15, 16, and 18. 14, 16, 18, good, good. Um, something wrong here. Just, uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to put that. That was the data frame that we're subsetting. Okay, so now I just have these uh, columns. So I'm going to change the names just to commune, age, um, sex, ethnicity, and occupation. The way that we do that is we use the names function that and I'm going to write, uh, what is the first one? Sorry, um, province, province. And then we're gonna do uh, age, sex, ethnicity, and occupation. All right, let me go back into our data and we have set the column names effect. Um, one thing that I notice is that all of these are categorical variables, but this is a numeric variable, right? It's an integer age. So I'm going to quickly change that. Um, so I'll say change age to categorical. And the way that we do that is just getting the summary of age. So we see the minimum is 18, the maximum is 84. Um, median is 46. So let's use the cut function. So I'm just going to overwrite this age column and I'll say that this dot age, um, the breaks, which means the numeric values that we want to break from are 18 to 25. Okay, so 
56 is the third quarter. Let's go up to 65 and then break it off there. Okay, 18, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, and then I'm just going to put the maximum value here and I'll show you where it is. Okay, so the labels here um, for our categorical variables are going to be 18 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, 45 to 55, 55 to 65, and then we'll put above 65. All right, and then if I look at my age column now, then we'll have categorical variable of the age range. And this is just a way to kind of aggregate data so that um, when we make that percentage table, it's not like 50 rows just of age values. Okay, so now the next thing that we need to do is melt the data. And I'll show you what this means. Um, basically, we want to just take this out, copy, paste. And we're going to call this new object or data frame dat.melt. And then we're going to use the melt function. And our data is called dat. So let's go ahead and look at this. Um, I didn't actually do anything here because I need to add the ID bars, which is, um, let's make it province. Province. So I have this ID category, right? And I have it grouped by um, provinces. And then I have all of my variables here, right? And these used to be my, my column names. And then I have the values. So these are the values reported by the column names. So the next thing we need to do is just take this giant data set of over 3,000 records and then condense it into a numbers column and a percentage column under each group. So we're going to take this helper function right here. And then we're just going to copy that and paste it. So we're going to make a new object called dat tab. We're going to use our dat.melt data frame here. And then we are going to add another variable. We're going to group by, and we're going to group by province. Add another pipe here. So this percentage um, greater than percentage. Or is it less than? Anyways, this is called a pipe. So let's write pipe here. So essentially, a pipe is just a way that you can call the data frame and you can run operations on it without continually calling the data frame. Like if you use group by by itself, you would have to put dat dot melt. Uh, if you use count by itself, you would have to put dat dot melt, etc. So we're calling the data frame, we're grouping by province, and then we want to count the value column, right? So the value column. And I'm just going to show you what that's going to do. If I highlight these and run it, it will create a column called n, sorry, n, and then it's the count, the frequency, same as if you use the table function, of each of these things grouped by province, right? And so now that we have the n column, we make another pipe and we use the mutate function. So this function essentially just makes a new column. So we're saying we want a new column called percent, and we want that to be equal to the way that you make a percent, right? So n, so the number divided by the sum of n, so that's the sum of all of the numbers in that group, times 100, right? Just a percentage. Um, I do want to add a round function here, and round just means that I want to round it to a certain number. So I'm going to round it to the nearest 10. Okay, so we run this, and then look at our data table. So we have our province, that's our grouped variable. Then we have all of our demographic variables, right? And then we have the number, okay? Um, this is probably better if I um, if I have like the category that it's under. Like this would be occupation, for example. Um, so let's actually do that. So we're going to add 
group by variable here. Okay, and then we'll look back at that tab. So we have the group by province, we have the variable, we have the value, we have the number of each of those grouped values per variable and province, and then the percentage of which it makes up. So this is just like, what, four lines of code um, to make this table. If your data is already clean and you read it in um, just as is and you have demographics or you have any other kind of categories um, and you run this code, then it will make this data table for you. And it's much, much faster than using Excel for the same thing. Okay, hope this helps.